paying hundreds of dollars for a video editor? No way. In 2025, the only people doing that are those who haven't heard of these six free video editors. Let's check them out. Hey, Arthur here. Welcome to Movavi Vlog. And I've been in video production for over 10 years. And in that time, I've tried just about every editing software out there, paid, free, complex, simple. And I can confidently say that these days, a lot of free programs are almost as good as the paid ones. Of course, some come with catches. Beginners often stumble upon free editors that plaster a huge watermark on your video, limit you to five minutes of footage or lack so much that you lose all motivation to edit. None of that in my list. I've compiled six programs that let you create videos on the level of top YouTubers without paying a single cent. Choose the one that fits your needs. So if you're just starting out with video editing, a great place to begin is OpenShot. It works on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and even Chrome OS, which is pretty rare for free software. The program is updated regularly and the developers keep adding new features and fixing books with most free editors, either the interface is super confusing or they're so limited that you can barely apply a simple effect. OpenShot isn't like that. It has everything you need to create a quality video. The biggest advantage, unlimited layers. Say you want to put together a video with your main footage, plus background music, a couple of animated titles, and some B-roll clips on top. With other free editors, you'll hit a limit pretty quickly. Two layers, maybe three max. In open shot, you stack as many as you want. It even has built-in 3D animations and smooth transitions. Those are usually only found in paid software, and they make your videos look more lively and professional. So it's awesome that OpenShot includes them. The interface is simple and easy to figure out. The timeline is at the bottom, the preview window on the right, and your tools on the left. Everything is where you'd expect. So you can start editing right away. Of course, it's not without its downsides. If you have a low-end computer, the program might lag, especially during preview or export. It's best if you have at least eight gigs of RAM, then everything will run smoothly. But considering this this is completely free software with so many features, few little slowdowns are something you can live with. And by the way, one important tip, save your work frequently, not just in OpenShot, but in any editor. Better safe than sorry, you don't wanna lose half a day of work because of a crash. Next on my list is Movavi Video Editor. It's an easy to use yet pretty powerful video editor, perfect for those who don't want to spend hours learning a bunch of complicated features. The interface is super intuitive, even if you've never edited a video before, you will get the hang of it in just one evening. What's nice is that Movavi runs smoothly even on not so powerful computers. That's a big plus if say, you only have a basic office laptop, but still want to create a good looking video. Now, about cool features. Movavi lets you add automatic subtitles with one click. Very handy if you're making vertical videos and want viewers to follow along, even when the sound off. And editing is a breeze here too trimming, splicing clips, adding music or transitions. You can do it all in a couple of clicks. Plus, there are hundreds of effects. Titles, filters, transitions, sound effects. You can make a stylish video, even if it's your first time editing. But my favorite thing in Movavi is its AI-powered tools. For example, motion tracking. Just highlight an object and the tracker will automatically follow it. This is super useful if you want to pin text or a sticker to a moving object like a car in the shot or someone running by. There's also a background replacement feature that works without a green screen. Just select your clip, go to the tools tab, head to the video section, click remove background and pick a new background. Can be a static image or even a video. Feel free to experiment as much as you want. Overall, Movavi Video Editor is an excellent choice for anyone who wants to quickly put together bright eye-catching videos for YouTube or social media, especially if you're not a professional professional editor, let's say a new vlogger, a teacher, where you're making videos for a small business. Simplicity, speed, and all the necessary features, it's all there. And on top of that, they have a great support team if you ever need help. I will drop a link in the description to download the free version of Movavi. Give it a try and see for yourself. Next up is Shotcut. It's been around since 2004, but for some reason, a lot of people still haven't heard of it. And that's a shame. This is one of the most stable free editors out there. It runs smoothly and almost never crashes. That alone is pretty rare for free software. When you launch Shotcut for 
the first time, the interface might look too simple, but that's not a drawback. It's actually a good thing. The minimalist design helps you quickly figure out what's what. Give it a few minutes and you will know exactly where the timeline is, how to cut clips and how to add music. It runs in Windows, Mac OS and Linux, but its biggest strength is format support. Pretty much any video file you throw at it, Shotcut will open it with no problems. This is especially handy if you are editing footage from a bunch of different sources. The timeline is intuitive and editing music or sound effects is easy too. Just drag your file in, trim it, move it around, add a fade and you're good to go. Now on to the more technical stuff. Shotcut has solid built-in tools for video, color correction, filters, layer blending. It's got tools for audio too. You can clean up noise, adjust the balance, add effects. Overall, this isn't just a basic cut and trim app. It's a full-fledged editor where you can put together a serious project. Another free editor on the list is Caden Life, which has improved a lot over the past couple of years. It's open source and continuously refined by enthusiasts all over the world. So what's so good about it? Let's start with how it handles tracks. You can add as many video and audio tracks as you want without anything slowing down. A lot of free editors start to lag if you pile on layers, but not this one. The interface is fully customizable, almost like building blocks. You can arrange the panels and tools however you like to suit your workflow. And one thing that's especially great is the effects and transitions. They look modern and appealing. Plus there's a solid set of color correction tools and yep, Caden Life runs fast and stable. Whether you are on an old Intel based PC or a brand new MacBook, that's a big plus in my book. BSDC is an excellent option if you are on Windows. Windows. This editor came out in 2011 and has improved a lot since then. The interface has gotten more user friendly and they've added a bunch of features. But I will tell you upfront, BSDC isn't the easiest to learn. You'll need to spend some time and figure things out. There are guides on the official website, by the way. They're pretty straightforward and will make getting started a bit easier. Now on to the really cool part, what you get in the free version. With BSDC, you can not only do your standard editing, but also create slideshows, record your screen and capture video from a webcam. In other words, it's a great option for making tutorials, let's plays or educational videos. It even supports expert quality up to 8K. And unlike some other free editors, BSDC doesn't cut down your bitrate or blur the image. It doesn't reduce your video quality when exporting or uploading the final video comes out sharp and professional looking and you can upload it straight to your platform of choice. Last but not least, I saved DaVinci Resolve for the end. If you're willing to put in the effort, you can achieve cinematic quality results with this free editor. Basically, it's four powerful tools in one. Video editing suite, color grading, motion graphics through Fusion, and Fairlight for pro level audio editing. Even the free version has everything you need. 4K export, tons of formats and no watermarks. It's a seriously powerful professional tool that hasn't been stripped down just because it's free. Another big plus is its stability. If you're used to your editor crashing at the worst possible moment, that almost never happens with Resolve. The main downside is that it's not the easiest to learn. You will have to spend some time and really dig into it. You don't need to master everything at once. You can start with simple cutting and editing and then gradually explore more features as you go. So what's the verdict? If you're just starting out with video editing, great beginner options are Movavi, OpenShot, and Shotcut. If you work on Windows and you want an editor with a lot more features, check out VSDC. Caden Life is a good fit for those who want to step up from amateur, but aren't ready to pay for subscriptions like Premiere. And if you're ready to dive in and spend time learning, DaVinci Resolve is there for you. Pick the editor that best suits your needs. And by the way, the link to download the free version of Movavi is waiting for you in the description. Be sure to check it out. That's all for me today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if this was helpful. And I will see you in the next video.